Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Nino Villa and I'm your instructor. For those of you who enrolled in my first course, who watched the first course called How to Create a Fashion Collection and Launch Your Own Brand, you know that I was an instructor at FIDM, F-I-D-M, the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in Los Angeles, where I taught many classes like sketching and draping and pattern making, collection development, and many more. If you haven't watched my first course, I encourage you to do so because it'll give you a really good idea of the overall picture and the process of creating a collection and launching your own brand. This second course is about pattern making and some draping. And I say some draping because many times a pattern is developed by first draping on a dress form, which I'll show you in a minute, and then taking that drape and drafting a pattern from it. Pattern making and draping go hand in hand. And in fact, you will see me going back and forth between pattern making and draping. Because the first concept and question that we need to address is, how do you take a two-dimensional piece of paper, a pattern, and create a three-dimensional shape and design from it? In this course, you will learn basic principles of pattern making, such as dark manipulation, adding fullness. You will learn techniques such as pivoting and slashing and spreading. And you will learn a whole bunch of new words and terminology such as slopers and blocks and darts and pleats and tucks and shirring, princess seam style lines, yokes, seam allowance, etc. So we'll go over all the tools necessary to make patterns. And in fact, speaking of tools, let's start with the tools needed to draft a pattern or patterns. So we'll start with scissors and there's two kinds of scissors that uh, you should get. I'm going to be very professional about this and if you were in the industry or looking forward to uh, going into the industry, you will need two kinds of scissors. This one is used to cut paper. When I say paper, there's two kinds of paper. There's Manila paper, which is uh, it's not really cardboard, but it's sort of a stock paper. And then there's also dotted paper, sort of more of a lightweight dotted paper. So if you were cutting paper, you would, you would use these scissors. Otherwise, just a regular normal pair of scissors for fabric. And uh, in this uh, course, we'll use a fabric called muslin to drape patterns. You will need a pencil, very sharp pencil, and a ruler, an 18 inch clear, this bends, you can see it, it's flexible, two inch by 18 inch clear ruler. You will need pins, regular pins, not safety pins, these are just straight pins, okay? Uh, you will need a French curve. I don't know if you can see it, I'm gonna hold it against a darker background. This is a French curve. Okay, it has a certain shape to it, see that? Uh, you will need a hip curve. It has a certain shape, this is a hip curve. You will need a tracing wheel. Tracing wheel. There's different variations, but they're all pretty much the same. This little wheel that turns with little teeth at the end. Um, you will need an awl, A-W-L, spell A-W-L. Uh, a notcher. This is a notcher and it makes, you can hear the clicking, it makes notches. Uh, scotch tape. Good old scotch tape. And stapler. And along with stapler is a staple remover to remove staples. Okay. These are the most important tools necessary. There's a few more things, but these are the essential tools uh, needed to draft patterns. Okay, in the next class we'll start with principles and techniques on patent drafting and we'll get going. So, I'll see you next class. Thanks.